A gold vein has been mined out. Little Puppy Express had just hit the road. A perfect opportunity for the animal hating evil to earn some evilness. Another room chamber has been discovered. Creatures are collecting their pay. The third stone of finitude was placed. Two more stones needed to be placed. The stone of efficiency was now at the effective evil's disposal. 
From now on, its runes will be able to work much more effectively. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Enemies have entered the dungeon. This stone of finitude now allows the regenerating evil's creatures to slowly, well, you know, regenerate. Your vein is nearly exhausted. You've dug into a spider room. It's payday. You've dug into a spider room.
and the digging evil's creatures had discovered another room chamber in the underground. The fourth stone of finitude was in place. Only one more stone had to be placed before the gauntlet could be charged. Wait a minute. What do you mean, could be charged? I think it's better if you just wait and see. Ah! That does not bode well. The stone of damage was now in the damaging evil's arsenal and could be used to strengthen its creatures. The power of this stone of finiture strengthened the injurious evil's creatures and imbued their blows with more oomph. Little snots have completely mined out a gold vein. Your throne room is under attack. Another room chamber has been discovered. The fifth stone was placed in the corresponding rune socket. The ritual could begin. I knew it! Not only have I now wasted so much time dragging these damn stones around everywhere, no! Naturally, this nonsense is just going to keep going on forever! Let me guess what the next mission's about. Well, of course, it could well be that there were heroes who would try to disrupt the ritual. A certain dwarf queen somehow comes to mind. Oh, of course, that makes sense. If you have to buy yourself some more game time somewhere, then you might as well do it right. The keyboard torturing hack cobbling this story together better hope I never get my hands on him. 